m 0 fxb welcome to my channel. Just going to quickly show you why why do we have hotspots? What is the point? Well, look at this Yaesu FT5D here. Now, the B-band is on GB3FI, which is about, I don't know, 10 miles from me. If I key it, the rubber duck's just about going to make it. Watch this. When you just open it, you just about hear GB3FI come back to me there. Now, if I had a much better antenna, external antenna connected to the FT5, it would easily make it, and we'd have 30-plus signal here. Now, so why have a, a hotspot? The reason we have a hotspot is because, well, maybe we don't want to connect to our external antenna. We just want to do it quite easily. So the hotspot connects us to the Internet. The repeater or gateway uh, is connected to the Internet. So that links us all up via the internet, bypassing the need to use an external collinear antenna to get the range, because there's no range really involved when you use a hotspot. These are about 80 pound, that one's about 150, that one's made by DV Mega. We're on Fusion now. It could be D-Star. So you're using hotspots to bypass an, an external antenna, and you have control at home. It's like having your own repeater at home, and 100% you should get one and they look great as well and they're fun to use and fun to make and fun to set up and You can use them on DMR D star fusion. So we're just going over it again there. So uh, hopefully that clears up um, You know why we need a hotspot Why when we're using our rubber duck our radios are silent because they're basically not in range of a repeater That's the bottom line. So Get yourself a hotspot 73 all the best